All right, what's up? Welcome back. Big news day today. Uh, we got a lot of 10.2.7 news. Let's just get right into it. We've got WoW Remix, Missip, and Area. Looks like that's going to be time time running pandemonium uh, so I was at work today and like saw like a photo put out by Blizzard and saw a couple like a few of the points um, very interesting stuff I decided to stop and wait to read it here so um, looks like so we live epic adventures with the only event Arriving in the 10.2.7 content update, while WoW remakes Miss of Pandaria. I can't say that name. Experience the wonders of Pandaria anew, but with fresh new loot and almost unlimited power. Um, I was gonna say something, but I guess it says right here. So, World of Warcraft remakes is a time-limited event which allows players to re-experience the entirety of the Miss of Pandaria expansion at an accelerated rate from level 10 through 70. All loot has been completely overhauled and has powerful new effects, allowing players to shape their experience, power up, and power on. Okay. Um, features include accelerated leveling and content, allowing you to take on nearly every quest scenario dungeon and raid. Create a new WoW Remix character starting at level 10 to adventure through the event up to level 70. Um... But he's still levels, uh, so, so it's not like the plunder storm generic character. Uh, I'm assuming you ch still choose a class. Uh, mountain of loot, get powerful items from everywhere, quests, ch chests, creatures, and bosses. Customizable items allowing you to power up as far as you can go to, t to take on tougher content. Uh... Convert unwanted items into bronze, which can be used to upgrade items or purchase cosmetics. And then keep what you collect, at, so, and then carry over cosmetics. That's cool. I wonder if it's... With this, I assume it's cosmetics specifically for the event, but I wonder if it's all just... Or, like, how much of it is going to be reused or recolored. Um... Miss the Pandaria Cosmetics. So available to everyone. No expansion purchases needed. Okay, it's the same as Thunderstorm. Classic Wii Up. Uh, while trial accounts will also be able to experience this while remix without a subscription or game time through level 20. Uh, okay. Interesting. Accelerated leveling. 1 to 20 is like an hour if you know even remotely what you're doing sorry for the car um yeah getting just level 20 is, takes no time at all even if you're going from level one uh so that is a bit interesting but i guess it makes sense um If they're like normal in-game levels, which if it's up to level 70, I'm assuming it's tied to that. Alright, so there will be no slowing you down. You will be able to take on nearly every quest scenario dungeon and raid right out of the gate with accelerated level leveling from one, uh, 10 to 70. So can you do raid? Oh, there we go. I actually answered my question right there. So be the charter below for availability of each type of content. Jade Forest, level 10, Valley of the Four Winds, Crassering Wilds, uh, I'm pronouncing that wrong. All right, but yeah, so t level 25, you can start doing motion. 35 for Heart and Fear, 40 for Terrace, 50 for Throne. Siege of Orgrimmar for 60. Interesting. I wonder how this is going to work. And then you do heroic versions at level 70. So I'm curious how that ties into like your normal retail level. 
or if it's something different. Because I, anyway, let's. I'm sure I'll talk about that. Uh, create a new modern, Warf modern World of Warcraft character to undertake your adventures in Pandaria. Collect a variety of powerful items, and transmogs, and take your transmogs with you when you continue your adventures uh, in War Within. So, but I'm curious. So all remix. Oh. All remix characters created during the event will convert to a standard character to play within modern World of Warcraft at the end of the event. Okay. So, my question was going to be if when you hit level 70, if that character would become like a normal character. So, it's just like a really fast way of leveling in just a different way. But it sounds like they may stay at level 70 for the extent of it. Or sorry, stay at like in the event, even at level seventy. And then when the event ends, then it'll become a like a normal Dragonflight character. In which case, then this all feel like old content. That's interesting. From the realm character selection screen, players will be given the option to create a new. Okay. All right. Characters on the selection screen, which are only available to play in the remix event, will have an icon next to the character name, so they can easily be identified. Okay, so it's still like in the same screen. It's not like Plunderstorm. It's just at your character creation or er, select screen. And you begin on the Timeless Isles. Interesting. So new loot, new you. Players have the opportunity to collect a variety of items just from just about anywhere. Quests, chests, creatures, and bosses, and more. New customizable items will be yours for t the taking, and each item slot has their own unique identity with small uh, with spell gem sockets. These sockets come with exciting turbocharged new effects similar to trinkets. Each time you loot new items, you'll have the chance for powerful new upgrades, allowing you to push the limits further and faster than ever before with uncapped progression. As you progress, you'll gradually become more and more powerful as items also grant increased permanent stats. Here are just some examples of the types of, of gems you might find. Yeah, so... Interesting. So, Summon a Storm some AOE damage, presumably. Yeah. Oh, AOE damage and some AOE healing. Turn it into a orb. See, if you're creating a character, I'm curious like, if you choose your class or maybe like after the event, then you go into um, Dragonflight, like, then you choose a class? That would be weird, but it seems like it's kind of something in between the, the Plunderstorm version of completely generic with everyone chooses from the same abilities. But maybe now there's just items that give you different abilities, but you choose a class? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm reading over it too quick, but... Yeah, I won't go over all of these, but it's interesting stuff. So, like, in here... Yeah, because, like, you get a roll, which it sounds like in a blink. So it seems like it's very... Uh, just making it like kind of blending all the different classes through these items and gems and then like the uncut progression makes me think of the vampire survivors stuff that they've been talking about um the which is like some files that are labeled that in their naming convention um so that's where i kind of like maybe i'm just thinking of that and that's what's making me think that maybe there's a change to the actual play style 
through all this stuff. But if it's existing content, just like at a higher pace and that kind of stuff, like how different can it be? Um, you'll also be able to earn an artifact cloak that gains permanent power in increases as you play. The power you earn on your strongest character is shared with alternate characters created for the event to make leveling even faster. Holy shit! <laughs> 324% experience gain. What? That is insane. <laughs> uh, earn titles, a variety of transmogs, previously unreleased variants of, of older, model, uh, older mounts, and more simply by completing WoW Remix mop. Specific achievements during the uh, specific achievements during the remix event. That's all one sentence. I can read, I swear. Uh, um, these achievements will become feats of strength when the event ends. Okay. Yeah, that's actually a pretty cool looking map. Welcome to a new Bronze Age. There's no such thing as a bad drop, and any job that you can get and that you that you get can be converted into a new currency, bronze. You'll be able to use this currency to purchase upgrades and. World of Warcraft account bound at cosmetics. I head to the bazaar in any zone to purchase everything from class transmogs to misopandary mounts, toys, and more. This allows players to purchase items that were previously unobtainable or er, they were yeah. Or difficult to obtain as random jobs by simply spending this new currency to add them to their account's collection. Interesting. Won't be able to use the auction house. Okay. Continue the story in Dragonflight as the Dark Heart content update ushers in the final chapter of expansion and sets the stage for the war within. Okay. Um This is just this tra class transmogs. So I've been farming uh Tusta Manor off. <laughs> And if this comes out and I see it on there, I mean, I won't be upset because th it still hasn't dropped. So at least there's that. But I'd be a little bummed if it was on there and it's that easy. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to seeing what mounts they put up on there, though. <laughs> yeah, imagine if they put the transmog mount on there for some for this currency. Instead of the ridiculous price. I doubt they will. Hmm. Very interesting. So I didn't play through Mists of Pandaria. I had just, before it came out, wasn't too hot on... Just what I was seeing for it. Like I like all the uh, the Asian influence of it, the whole aesthetic. But I I don't know. There's just something that just didn't hit right with me at the time. I definitely was kind of the whole uh, World of Warcraft Kung Fu Panda crowd. Ah, um, I still call it that, even if it's somewhat lovingly. But. But I did get it um, wow why, why am I forgetting the order of expansions um, so what at wad um, yeah so when I pre-ordered wad then I finally played through because it, just like now you get dragonflight with the war within. I got Mrs. Pandaria. And I played through, did some like LFR as I was waiting. I think of, I forget what rate it would have been. Um, or which one I actually tried. I really didn't go through them at all. So I pretty much didn't go through them until solo farming later. Um, like even still, I don't really know these raids. So I'm actually kind of excited 
to play it with it being feeling like relevant within the event at least not really relevant but with other people there and actually have to think about it this is pretty cool I, I'm very interested to see what the actual play style is like. I'm assuming you do choose a class and that there's just these items that give you, that just kind of change the way it plays. Which, hey, I mean, that's cool. It is kind of a bummer. I still think they should be adding, well, no, okay. If this character carries over into the full game I guess I understand that but like plunger storm you should have done, been able to do it with a trial account I think but the bomber part of that is that you can only do jade forest for 10 levels um, get some dungeons at least hmm super interesting it's just I'm just gonna skim through these real quick I did see this a new Zalatath. So definitely some stuff coming for that story. Oops. Um, story content. Looking forward to that for sure. Mythic Plus LFG improvements. Yep. Let's see. Oh wow, all Dragon Flesh flight quests that previously became available with renowned levels, renown levels. Gotta stop just reading so fast. Renowned levels are now available to all max level player characters regardless of renown. That's a good idea. Um, Sins of the Sister. A Night Elf has arrived at Belameth to bury the family she lost at Teldrassil. But when her deceased sister is revealed to be a traitor, will the Night Elves show her sister forgiveness or demand accountability for her sins? Level, level 70 players can speak with Malfurion, Storm Rage, Elliot, my dude, at the Terrace of the Moon in Bellamath to accept the quest, an uncommon request, and start this quest line. Hell yeah. That's sweet. I, I think I still need to do the Bellamath storyline on my druid, so I need to do that. Uh, user interface and accessibility. Several changes have been made to improve the experience of finding M plus groups in pre made group finder. A filter button has been added that lets you filter results for specific dungeons. Your role available. <laughs> okay. Um, none of, of your class already in group. That's actually sweet. For paladins? <laughs> um, I hope it filters by spec. Because I don't... I'm not as like worried about if there's a protection or a holy paladin. So I hope it doesn't filter out that but spec will be very nice fingers crossed tank and or healer already in group uh yep that makes sense yeah easy enough okay so i mean that's that's cool let's i think it's lvy wind tools that i use that does all of this but if i can turn it off sweet um, okay, the role icons on each listing now show class colors, so you can see the current group make up at a glance. Yes, thank you. This is actually awesome. The less add-ons that I need to load in, like not some hot take on add-ons, blah, blah, blah. I'm just saying, the more that they add from add-ons and just make it in the game, hell, hell yeah. Uh, the, the listening tool tip now shows the leader's info in a more readable format. Their M plus rating, their highest key level for a listed dungeon, their highest key for all dungeons. Okay, the listening tool tip now shows info for all members of the group, including their spec and M plus rating. That is sweet. Yeah, yeah, because kind of make it harder to uh, carry a buddy. Um, and like just pug <laughs> the rest of it but hey i'm not worried about that um 
the listing tooltip now shows the dungeon raid name and difficulty. Didn't not before. I'm confused. Um, a help help tip help tip. A help tip tutorial has been added to teach players that they can search a key range for precise results. That's good. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Just do seven to seven to like force it to be. I was just do like a number and it would give me anything like one key below, one key above. Groups that no longer fit your filter criteria are marked with a red background. For example, if you select, okay, yeah, sure. Groups you are hard to climb from are automatically marked in red and sorted to the bottom. Okay, that's a good idea, because oftentimes it'd be just like a D-list and it says you were declined. Um, but, I mean, let's be honest, if it, it was delisted, they didn't want you. <laughs> but, sure. Um, in the leader applicants pane, the, app, uh, the applicant tooltip now shows the applicant applicants info in a more readable format. Their M plus rating, their, yeah, sure, blah, blah. Okay, heritage armor. Sure, we'll just quickly look at these guys. That's an old school troll. Hell yeah. That is nostalgic as hell. And Drenai. Okay. I like the shoulders and the gloves. Uh, that is about it. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, actually, it looks a little bit better on the male model, I think. Oh, two helm variants. Oh, there we go. Ah, it's looking, um, like, I actually like this. This is okay as well. Yeah, okay. No, I'm, I'm, I'm on board. Sure. I don't really play Jedi either, so. So there we have it. Should be up on the PTR. I think it's already, the PTR is already up, but the WoW Remix goes up Friday, I believe. Um, I'm, I don't really do PTRs, but I'm I'm interested enough to that I might actually I might actually check it out before season four starts. I'm curious how this plays, but hey, if nothing else, hey, if anyone's seen the Rep Pally guides and hasn't started one but is thinking about it, there you go, get level seventy very fast. Still curious if you have to wait till the end of the event to switch it over to modern. I guess maybe the, the event may only be a week, so I guess that may be fine. But if it's like Plunderstorm, like a six week event or something, or however long it ends up being, and you get level 70 in the first week, you know, how long are you going to be stuck there? Uh, that'll be interesting to see. That said, none of that is really. Uh, negative questioning. I'm just curious, but I'm excited for this. I, hey, I guess I'm going to have some more level 70 alts. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you're excited for this, people complain about Plunderstorm being a PvP event. There you go. Here's a PvE event and directly in game. It's not like a different game like people were complaining about with Plunderstorm. Um, it's PvE it feeds directly into the to like you can keep your character I, I'm very intrigued <laughs>